it's, a real it's the principle of the incarnation, mm. right? Because the incarnation is is a, at least a symbolic representation of the idea that the spirit has to fully inhabit the body, right? And that's also a remarkable it's a remarkable idea, especially because the spirit, so to speak, the psyche, if you want, flees from the body in terror because the body is the place of mortality and suffering. And so people are disembodied and it's because, what one way of looking at it is because they're too afraid to become fully embodied. And it's no wonder they're afraid. There's reason to be afraid. But the question is, well, what would you be like if you had the courage to be fully embodied? And that's fully incarnate. That's another way of thinking about that. And the idea, the Christian idea is that the fully incarnate human being is the Messiah. That's the idea. That's a hell of an idea. You know, but it means embracing the horrors of the world. That's what it means. And that's not only the horrors of the world, but the evil of the world, you know. So there's this idea that Christ and the evil took of the individual. Ab- absolutely. Well, then those are those are not different. And you know, there's this idea that not only was Christ the incarnate spirit, right? So fully descended into the body, let's say, but that he also took the sins of the world onto himself. And what that means is that psychologically speaking, is that part of spiritual development is to recognize the satanic tendencies that characterize you and to fully wrestle with them and to, and to integrate them. That's the thing. It's, it's not so much to cast them away. It's to transmute them. You know, and you can see the difference between people who've done that and people who haven't, at least to some degree, because people who haven't integrated the shadow at all are naive. And you can tell that when you look at them, and you can tell that when you talk to them. And because they're naive, they're often resentful as well because they get taken advantage of. And someone who's integrated that more, they're dangerous in the, in the martial arts sort of way, which is they're dangerous, but they don't have to be, they don't have to use it because their presence radiates. What would you say? It, it doesn't radiate threat. Exactly. Well, certainly strength, but it's, 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 it's the potential for havoc. That's the right way of thinking about it. There's, a, there's an implicit potential for havoc, and that's really necessary. It, it's one of the things that gives people self 